Hey, do you want to uh, sweep your blues away? Well, Naked Night has the cures for you. First off, we out there telling you as comedy, music, fun, and so much more. Trust me, it's beautiful, isn't it, Fabrice? Absolutely, Mr. Fuller. After tonight's episode of Weeknight Update, let's check how Joey Headphones is doing as summer is approaching on the headphones hour. Now if you excuse me, I'm going to drink some water. I'm sweating so bad right now. Alright. Yes, and then after that, it's the bad hour. How can you uh, go along with the show dedicated to talking to beds, or even talking about beds? It's all coming up next on Nick at Night, so I don't know what else to say except stay with us. This is exactly what the doctor ordered. A funny late night show that, let's be honest, is the only late night show that you need in this day and age. That's right, wait now out there and I'll leave you alone. That's right, do I need to say anything else? No, just roll the titles, will you? Thank you. From the YouTube Dojo, Elizabeth Olsen can't find us here. It's week now of the Rally Viewer, and now Anne thinks that Elizabeth Olsen is a little too self-deprecating to be an actress. Ha 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 ha! Mr. Rally Cody Viewer! Ha! Welcome to Week Now Update. I'm Ellie Cody Viewer, it's over guys' office. <laughs> All right, for Bruce Lowe, check out Walk Ball 10. Thanks for the uh, the previews. Now the shouts for the winners. Here we go. Diamond Dot Cami is first with his animations and things like that. You know what? Uh, he, he has done uh, something uh, for this program in Tao Joe Calder. You know. By the way, we still thank him for that. You know what? Uh, you know we're working on uh, some new things for Joe Calder uh, for uh, when he comes back from hiatus. You know, uh, in the meantime, we have something uh, special uh, planned uh, for tomorrow's show and uh, several other other weeks and things like that. And we hope that they, he'll enjoy it as well as you at home. Babe Time Creations is responsible for the things on for this program. We thank him for that as well. And he's also uh, a great, not only is he a great musician, but he's also a great actor, comedian, artist, yada, yada, yada. Michael's like cast, same deal. And he, but this uh, program is I, Michael. And he has helped us out. And he has helped us out with this program as well. You know, uh, Specs by Ken, of course, uh, has some fan edits. Chrissy Chris, CC Wend, uh, got uh, some uh, random stuff. I don't know if they're still around. And, of course, Lightly Average Day with some uh, random stuff. Alright. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's do this. What's up? What's up with Elizabeth Olsen? A woman who wants to be rich. Of course, that actress is in trouble. She recently said that her WandaVision show will never return to the airwaves. Wow. Tough break. Well, who cares? Now check this out. She was first graded to see her act on the show. She called herself a 10 year old kid. Really? She's not a kid. She's just a fool. Why is she a fool? Seriously. Makes no sense at all. It makes no sense. Alright. MP, Pink Cat, Symbol, top of the top eight list, let's see where we're at, uh, here we go. Okay, so, what's the category? Tonight's category, Top 8 Elizabeth Olsen Shows for the Summer of 2021. Number 8, Fishy CDs. Number 7, Pitting Time. Number 6, Boogie Time. Number 5, Fly Away. Number 4, Awesome Sauce. Number 3, Skunky Eggs. Number 2, Mighty Pits. And number 1, Where's Skunky Eggs? Will you please stop doing that? What? Skunk is uh, quickly becoming the word of the year for 2021. Really? By which dictionary? By what dictionary? Uh, Webster's. You know, Webster's. Okay. Thank you, boys. Thank you very much. We'll be right back. 
Kids, don't call it week, not update. Now here it is, your vibe of the night. Today on Tasty Meals, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious meal with just one simple ingredient. A phone. I'm gonna have a medium cheap. Hello out there from TV Land. Why don't you join us? Cause it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's Nick at Night. When I think of all Empire has to offer, it makes me wonder. Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? Why are you waiting? Oh, why? 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 You could call right now. 588-2300 Empire! Mr. Edward Scott and the boys, yeah, yeah, all right. How you doing tonight, Ed? I'm all right, I'm all right. Wow, I gotta tell you, man, I am a little bit excited about tomorrow night's, uh, about the rest of the night show, but I'm, but I'm nervous about telling what tomorrow show's gonna be. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you know, coming up with something new uh, for the show isn't always easy, but it's going to be uh, quite interesting to see what uh, people are going to think about what's going to happen tomorrow. Well, what about the rest of tonight's show? Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Well, not much really, except now it's time for a little talking time. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now, let's uh, take a look at this and see what's going on. Oh boy. Now, uh, as we mentioned earlier, Elizabeth Olsen, you know, uh, recently declared that her uh, show, WandaVision, is not coming back for a second season. You know, of course, we should have. Uh, recognized that all along because uh, she and the rest of the team uh, said that it's only going to be a limited show. And yet everybody uh, on social media thought, oh, this is going to be a big thing. This is going to be huge. You know, everybody's going to be uh, talking about that for many, many, many years to come. But of course, you know, uh, <laughs> you know how uh, these shows go. And uh, oh boy. To Olsen, uh, you know, we mentioned that uh, the show on Disney Plus isn't going to uh, come back for a second season. You know, she said that, you, that she would have been shocked if it was. You know, uh, you know because uh, she said that it was definitely a limited series. You know, of course she said, I mean, with Marvel you can never say no, but I would be shocked. And I'm like... Actually, you know, that's only for uh, movies. I don't think it works the same way with TV shows. You know, and it's just ridiculous how everything, uh, how everything uh, took place. But, hey, that's what happens. You know, and, oh my goodness. And what's worse about it, you know, he said he was frustrated to watch her own acting skills on that show. He said she was frustrated because uh, she saw uh, her 10-year-old uh, theater kid self playing out to the audience. I'm like, well, that's because you're an actress 
and you're doing a show on a streaming service, you know, called Disney Plus, which, by the way, I don't care how many people, uh, you know, what try to dispute it, a streaming service is not the same as a TV network, okay? You know, a lot of people can, uh, you know, you know uh, who is watching an actual TV show on a TV network, whereas on a streaming service, you really don't know. Okay, unless uh, those streaming services, uh, for some reason or another, uh, post uh, full-length episodes of the show uh, the next day onto YouTube, you really don't know. You know, so uh, those shows can, uh, on those streaming services can easily be canceled within a blink of an eye because of, uh, because of the, f the simple fact that uh, you, know, you just don't know uh, who's watching on the streaming service. Okay, anyway, he said that... Uh, do you think he was only playing out to the audience instead of the camera? And I'm like, if you're playing out to the camera, then you're actually playing out to the audience. So, in other words, you know, that's exactly what he was doing. You know, he said, the experience felt like we were trying to survive by going as quickly as possible. The only time we would slow down one division is when we get into Marvel Land. Marvel's just such a strange beast. It's the biggest stakes in the entire world. The world's going to end. Humans are going to die. But it's all about character. I'm like, really? You do know that in all the Marvel movies, uh, in all the uh, Marvel uh, stuff, you know what, uh, the superheroes actually saved the world? If you don't know that by now, Elizabeth, you're really really <laughs> ridiculous you are I'm serious don't let anybody fool you okay you know people can say that uh, you can say different th things but at the end of the day you know what's up okay oh boy I'll tell you folks something. I'll tell you folks. This is crazy. I thought that everything was going to go well. You know, everything was going to work like awkward. But, I'm sorry. What can you do? Anyway, tomorrow night we're dealing with Scott Cawthon. And, Emmanuel Gaffey and Fabrice Wolves are getting Rocky Bowl 10. Yes, I know. The, uh, the number of uh, not very late night players is quickly diminishing. It's diminishing. You know, anyway, those two uh, guys are going to help me out, uh, you know, with a special uh, sketch uh, series. A brand new sketch series. Alright, you you do not want to miss it. And, like I said, you know, if anybody wants to join the uh, week now update, you know, please hurry up and uh, and let me know. Because we are running out of uh, cast members real quickly. We're running out. We are literally running out. You know, so, come on! Come on! That's the news. I'm Alski. Spread well by farewell. Hello out there from TV Land. Why don't you join us? Cause it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's Nick at Night.